Tonight, reverse furries. Animals that dress up as humans are getting jobs, buying homes, and settling down. Could you be married to a gazelle and not even know it? States, are there too many of them? One lawmaker thinks so, and he's proposing a radical new map for the USA. All of this and more on tonight's News to Me. When global conflicts can't be summed up with a trending hashtag, well, that's news to me. Good evening, America. I'm Chip Chapley. Dennis Traversonsley of Knoxville, Tennessee, who entered into a coma at age five, has awoken after nearly 30 years. He told his doctors, I'm a big grown-up now, I have muscles, I'm going to marry a dinosaur and be the president. Hey, he's got my vote. In culinary news, a new French restaurant is making waves by serving food that tastes terrible going down, but tastes great coming up. Le Bebe Wasso is the brainchild of Master Chef Pierre Jambongion and a crow named Gus. When reached for comment, Gus simply said, Balk. In tragic news, Wide Kerning kills three at a slow reading contest. What? Women. Some people are one. Some would say it's almost half of everybody. Others would argue it's nearly 50%. The science is still out, but what's for certain is women are here to stay. Here to discuss the issues that face women in America today are the members of the Senate Judiciary Committee on Women's Issues. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks, Good Chip. To be here. Thank, you, Chip. Chip. Thank you, Chip. What are the most pressing issues facing women in America? None that I can think of. Interesting. So what is the purpose of your committee? It's a PC thing. You know, if there's going to be a men's rights committee, there has to be a lady version. A blah, 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 liberal garbage. Hmm, I can't help but notice that there aren't any women in your group. Well, you see, we wanted to make quick decisions without being emotionally encumbered. Like a bench. Women tend to overthink the simple issues. Uh-huh. Joining us now is News to Me's own Abby Babble. Abby, you're a woman, right? That I am, Chip. And as a woman, I am deeply concerned that these men are- Oh, come on now, Chip. Control your woman. She's hysterical. That these men are legislating on women's issues like health care when they don't seem to have a full understanding of a woman's biology, much less- She must be on her monthly. Better put all your food in a tree before a bear shows up. It attracts bears, you know. Much less the complicated nuances of issues like safe access to abortions. Now, now hold on, uh, 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 bitch. We're only interested in making abortions illegal for those individuals that would abuse the privilege. Women, specifically. Goddamn right, bitch. It'll always be legal for a man to get an abortion. And coverage for pre-existing conditions which... Pre-existence is before Genesis, which means it don't count. I will not have my religious freedoms attacked by this tempestuous Jezebel. Which, Jesus fucking Christ! You shriveled, sagging ball bags, you don't have a clue about women or women's issues. Uh, um, uh, a shriveled, sagging ball bag is a serious medical condition that affects uh, 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 many men today. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I'm sponsoring a new bill to allocate $1.6 billion for essential therapeutic testicular tightening and smoothing for sufferers of SSBB. I mean... These octogenarian prune dicks are deciding what's best for women? Uh, I also suffer from prune dick. Oh, fuck. Back to you, Chip. Hmm, no, my fellows are fine. Huh? Oh, okay, thanks, Abby. More after this. Do you have an old cat? Is it maybe about to be a dead cat? Does that make you sad? Hey, Amber. I saw you ordering a chai latte at the coffee shop, and I got a really good vibe from you. I think we would hit it off. Text me, and maybe we can hang out sometime? No pressure. Bye. With Uncle Schrodinger's magical cat box, you can take the guesswork out of caring for your aging kitty. Again. Hey, sorry if I came on too strong with the first Amber Alert. I just think you got this cool look about you, and I bet we could get along really well. So, uh, text me if you aren't too busy. Just place your geriatric feline friend in our pet defending, soundproof, smellproof, airtight, and water resistant box. What the hell, Amber? Why haven't you texted me yet? What's your deal? You think you're too good for me? For me? Come on, 
Jordan. I hacked into this entire system for you. I, I love you, Amber. Text me. Come on. Bye. Is your cat alive? Maybe. Is it dead? Could be. Can you ever be certain? Never. It's scientifically impossible. The cops have my mom's house surrounded, Amber. This is your fault. You did this to me. You could have stopped this if you texted me, but you didn't because you don't care. My blood is on your hands, Amber. Last chance. Text me. With Uncle Schrodinger's magical cat box, you never have to say goodbye. Just say, get in the box! Silly me. <laughs> I typed in the wrong phone number, so that's probably why your text didn't get through. Uh, here's the right one, so uh, text this one, and yeah, stay cool, girl. Bye. Uncle Schrodinger's Magical Cat Box is a subsidiary of Crazy Pavlov's Jewel Troughs. Welcome back, I'm Chip Chapley. Men and women are very different, or possibly not very different at all. Franklin Roosevelt once said, men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Women have boobs and men have a penis. Well, he was wrong and stupid, and that's why he's dead. And that's news to me. Good night. Chip Chapley here. This just in, not enough people are clicking on links. A nationwide epidemic has found that one in every 10 people has not clicked on my Facebook page and become a fan of News To Me with Chip Chapley. Click the link in the description to stop this nationwide epidemic that could kill your children.